Mesut Yilmaz. He's a professor specializing in infectious disease at Istanbul Medipol University. Thanks so much for joining us again. First, let me ask you about this uh, measure itself and how does you know, such a measure like that help? Usually that's a step taken to reduce traffic in big cities, but because taxi drivers are actually barely working right now as it is. Yeah, correct. Well, as an individual and someone living in a huge uh, city, overpopulated city like Istanbul, I do see the, the ban preventing those 65 years old and above has even partially stopped them from going out. Now, the schools are closed here in Turkey, but people have to get to work. That is probably the main reason for people going out these days. The vehicles used to transport personnel to their workplaces used to be still full until recently. The rule regarding seating at a, at, a, at a distance was not really being implemented properly. That is why new measures were imposed so that each workplace introduced a sort of a um, rotational working scheme to, to reduce the number of employees. So people will have to use taxes, public transport, and personnel transport buses. So unless we implement social distancing properly, unless we teach people that, uh, I mean, we, we, we could basically be uh, facing a curfew, decreasing the number of taxes just by itself won't really affect much. Okay, so more measures uh, we can expect to come soon. Uh, let me ask you this though, you know, from the, the beginning of all of this, the, the World Health Organization said testing, testing, testing. That is the key uh, to fighting this pandemic. You know, it was done in South Korea with very positive outcomes, but everywhere else, testing is really only being done on people who are already sick. Meanwhile, those, you know, asymptomatic people have been kind of left to spread the virus without really knowing it. Tell me why there isn't just more of an effort being made to test people uh, on a wider scale, including mostly those with mild or no symptoms at all. That is because it's just extremely difficult and extremely not practical. Uh, uh, one or two hours ago, the Turkish Ministry of Health reported 1,600 new cases today. Uh, that was one of the one of the country's largest daily increase in infections, and 37 additional new deaths are reported. So we now have over 10,000 cases, and the death reached to 168. Um, many medical reports state that 15 to 30 percent of the cases could be actually asymptomatic. Those people do not produce any type of symptoms and they will be spreading the disease. So it's practically almost impossible to test those asymptomatic people, including the ones with the mild symptoms. Whoever seeks medical attention are tested at the hospitals but the ones who would not seek any attention, any medical attention, they do not get tested. It's practically impossible to test everyone. That, that is valid for every country on earth. Okay. Let me ask you personally, from everything you've seen, are you getting a feeling at all whether or not we're actually close to the peak in Turkey? Yeah, I think, well, that's just my personal feeling. I think we will... Uh, see the peak at most in a month. But if we, you know, implement all the measures properly in two months, the, the, the pandemic might ease. Okay, Mesut Yilmaz, thank you so much again for joining us. We appreciate it.